You can only have a testimony of Jesus if you have met Him, know Him, and follow Him. Many believers do not have a testimony. They do not know Jesus. Their confession of faith is void, empty, worthless. We need to be witnesses for Jesus by our testimony that He is alive and real to us. The reason why many believers cannot witness for Jesus is because they do not know Him, and they do not have His Holy Spirit in them, and they do not follow Him. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, after His crucifixion and resurrection, He instructed His disciples to go to Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, that He had promised. He said, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the remotest part of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He said, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. They needed the power of the Holy Spirit to be effective witnesses. After receiving the Holy Spirit, Acts chapter 2. They went out under guidance of the Holy Spirit and witnessed for Jesus with power. And many souls repented and became followers of Jesus. The only way that we can bear fruit for the kingdom of God is if we are effective witnesses with real testimonies of Jesus Christ. Our testimonies result from our relationship with Jesus, being guided and empowered by the Holy Spirit. We read in Revelation 12 verse 1, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Sadly, most believers have no testimony of Jesus. They believe in Jesus, following a false gospel that promises them salvation based on faith alone. But they do not follow and obey Jesus. Therefore, they have no testimony of Jesus. They are not witnesses for Jesus because they do not have the power of the Holy Spirit. They are fruitless and useless for the kingdom of God. Many of them are religious leaders, preachers, churchgoers, Bible believers. They follow the doctrines of men and pride themselves in their Bible knowledge. But they are not witnesses for Jesus because they do not know nor follow him and have no testimony of Jesus. Are you a witness for Jesus? Do you obey and follow him? Have you repented, been baptized in water and have you received the Holy Spirit? Do you follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit? Those who are being led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans 8 verse 14 Are you bearing fruit for the kingdom of God? Every tree that does not bear fruit will get cut off and burned. Are you a child of God? Do you bear fruit? Are you a witness for Jesus? May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.